video we are going to finish off the pathfinding for our enemy. Um, right now it works fine, you can follow our path towards the player and you can recalculate that path. However, if we have a patch of water like this or something else we can't move on, we are going to have some problems. We can try to look at it here. It's fine, when he pathfinds it's, it's totally okay and he will walk around it to be able to find my player. But the second that he starts attacking me, he will go into a follow state when I move away from him. So now he's following me, right? Which means if I would walk on this, he will actually start to walk over the water, as you can see. When he started attacking, he just went over the water to get to me. And that's not in, uh, very ideal, right? So now he just keeps walking over it. What I would like to do, instead of following me from this place down here over the water, I would like for him to pathfind around the water to get to the player so that it looks more realistic and, and it feels more fair. To do that, we first have to make sure that the enemy can see our player or knows if he can see the player. So we're going to create a new function called can see player. And it, it's basically the same thing as we're doing when we are trying to make the player check if the player can see the enemy. So let's see if we make a public bool can see player. And this one has a vector free target direction. My target the transform the position minus transform the position. And then we normalize it. And this could also be my parent, but yeah, yeah, I guess that's okay. And then I would like to say raycast hit 2D there and physics 2D that raycast. So we're going to make a raycast here from my own position to the target direction. And the length would be the vector 2, the distance between my um, position and to the my target transform that position. Okay. So we need to make a mask here that we can hit. Let's do that so we don't raycast on everything. We just need to raycast on something specific. We private layer mask, uh, layer mask and call it line of sight mask, LOS mask. And then we go down here and apply it here. So now the enemy is going to raycast from its own position towards the target. When we've done that, we need to check if hit is not null. So if the hit is not null, or hit dot collider actually isn't null, then we return false. Because if it's not null, then we can't see the player. Else return true. Yes. So if it's null, well then we can't see the player, so we return uh, we can see the player, so return true, else we return false. When we've created that function, we can go to our follow state. See here, enemy states follow. And then we have to say if, else if, oops, um, parent that can see player. So if, if our parent can't see our player, we would like to go into a path state. save and we need to make sure that whenever we um, enter the follow state we will have to set our rigid body to zero parent dot my rigid body dot velocity rigid two dot zero and then we also have to say parent dot my path null and save. Okay, with that in place we have to add the new layer. So let's go to default layer on anything, add a layer and call this one line 
of sight. This is our line of sight layer. Select your water and make sure that it is on the line of sight layer. When you click here, it will disappear from the game and the minimap, as you can see here, because now it's the line of sight layer. So you have to go to your main camera and make sure it can see the line of sight layer and the minimap camera, make sure that it can see the line of sight layer. Um, with that done, we need to make sure that our water is in the line of sight as we just checked. And we can check this or test it. So let's see here. If I go here, he should try to find a path now. So he's recasting towards me. Tagging, tagging. Let's see here if I get out of line of sight. Now he still walks over the water. Okay, so we're missing something. We need to figure out what it is. And you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to find our enemy and make sure that he is using the line of sight layer. Let's see here. Um, did I actually save that? I'm not sure. Enemy. Did I make that line of sight mask there? I forgot to serialize it as well. There, so we're able to serialize it and go back. Let's see here. It pops up. There, line of sight. There we go. Okay, so let's try. Now it should be ray casting towards the correct mask or the correct layer. Let's try one more time. That's why it didn't work. Okay, went a little crazy there. That's something else. Let's see here. We can make him attack me and I can go. Now that's not right. Okay, so he still acts weird. Let's figure out why he does that. I think the problem might lie with our enemy. Let's look here. When we have the enemy, the rigid body is still sitting on the enemy. I thought we already moved it up here, but maybe we did it and I forgot to save it. So we need to take the rigid body. Right click and copy component, remove it, go to the enemy parent and find rigid body 2D and add it and paste component values. Then you go to the enemy and take the new rigid body so that when you click here it's linked to the parent there. That might also have been a problem when we moved around. So let's see if that will fix it. Okay, so now we fixed the layer, the correct ray casting and we fixed the rigid body. Let's see if that's all we needed to do. So he is attacking me. If I go down here, he's still following. Let's see if we can make him attack me and I can line of sight him somehow. Okay, now he evaded because he couldn't calculate a path. It's fine. It's also what we want to do when that happens. Let's see here. Just want him to try to... There we go, now he attacked me. Yeah, so now he's pathfinding it after me, you see that? So now he got out of line of sight and he started to pathfind after me. Let's try again, he's attacking me now. No, it went out of line of sight, so now he starts to pathfind again. So instead of running over the water now, he is pathfinding. So the thing about when we are at the same tile he will evade. I think that's fine because then um, we will not get any problems. When we could also, instead of just evading, check if we are close enough to actually um, attack the player. But we can look at that later. But now we should um, have the ability to run away from the enemy and make him follow us without running through obstacles. Uh, before it seemed pretty, pretty unfair if he just ran over the water. So that's what I actually wanted to do in this video. So. Thank you very much for watching.